because I've seen a man do that before. is fucked. We were supposed to be meeting a judge to bring someone over, but I think, yep, someone beat us to it.
Yeah, they definitely beat me. How's it going? They're all inside. I can't be asked to go in there. It's been enough hours of my life in this fucking place. More than enough to not want to come in on time times. Yep, fair enough. <laughs> Who the fuck? Motherfucker had a gun at him, I'm sure, when I pull up. No badge or nothing. Could have been shot for that. I like your hair. It's a shame. It's a shame I'm not very shy. I'm, I'm shy. What's your name? I don't want this hair. What's your oh, name, Mr. Uh, it's, uh... Amos now. Could you spell that for me? A M O S. Very Don't easy. Don't put his nickname. And your it's not my name. Honestly, pal, it's not my nickname. I'm surprised you fuckers haven't just put on my full thing for now. It's just Amos. If you want the second name, it's Robertson. Jack, it's Robert, so uh, Jack Amos Robertson. There you go. That's what everything else says. Oh, yeah, that's someone nice. breaking me out. The hell are you shooting for? Ah, uh, misfire. Right, keep that thing holstered. So it's a target practice, really. Yeah, well, we don't know that, and we hear gunfire outside the wall. Oh, you know, it used to be the old signals to get in and out of the place to gunfire did. Everything okay here? Yeah. yeah just keep that thing holstered. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> You okay? didn't realize this used to be the fucking. You want to scare everybody else? All, all's good. Jesus. <laughs> oh no! Fucking mental. I swear to God. I taught someone the photo once. A couple people. Trip, trip. Yeah. Just they're dead, it's fine. Yeah. yeah a couple they're people gone. tried to jump on it. Alright. Okay, there's a tiny bit. Coming in. Fucking. Okay. 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 Uh, how's it going? Uh, how's it going? Did you say his name was Amos?
He didn't even put in his arrest report. They're bringing him over here for 10 years. That's ten dice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you've been assigned to uh, cell one. That'll be your home. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> you learned yeah, cell one. Hey, right. you know, Cole, Thank you very much, pal. Like, of course. Said, and again, great respects for ranch. you having yeah. yourself in right peace. Right. No problem, pal. I'd rather not hurt people. And I was like, what? Yeah. What? <laughs> You'd rather not hurt people? Right, no, he I says this is in for mayhem and right. first degree attempted murder. All right, y'all. Appreciate you. Y'all have fun with him. Oh, don't worry. We will. All righty. Have a good one. Oh, yeah, All right, y'all. We're ready to go. Have fun, Amos. Oh, I will. I'm having so I, um, much fun today. I, I, I put a copy in the Telegram towards you guys with the uh, details of when he can be released. Yeah, I'll send that. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, who of you is Herr Lin? Uh, that's the other fellow. That's you. Uh, apologies for getting you out there and then leaving with, with your colleague. Oh, uh, no, all good. I was coming back this way anyway. Alrighty. Um, uh, thank you. Any help uh, for coming out here? Yeah, of course. And I have been told that the pay to you guys isn't that great. That's okay. It keeps me on my feet. You know what I mean? If, if you would split this between the two of you, that would be very kind. Well, I appreciate that. Um, I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Yeah, you oh, you too, ma'am. Have a good one. Have a good day, gentlemen. Ah, I'm just the naked fella. Probably a prisoner. Give me sixty dollars for you. Know shit. Right Maybe Let's go, go find out who this naked fella is. Beat him if he doesn't like clothes. I think he just ran around the building. I'll go run from the other side there. Oi, fella. Hey. Where the fuck are your claws there? I'm not sure. Just woke up without them. Yeah, let's go get you something to change into, yeah? You just head back towards that main building over that way. What's your name, fella? Leon. Leon. Brad. Nice to meet you. Well, I do have another friend in here at the moment. I'm Mr. Amos. You can get some clothes in this building here. He's hungry, fella. Uh, Leon bit. Brad. Leon Brad. Don't worry. I'll just stay on uh, the coffee sound there. Right there at that wall, you should be able to grab some clothes from there. Let's see what this guy's in for. Leon Brad. Holy shit. Bella, have you been in here since July? Yeah. Been a minute. Are you as a lifer, fella? Been here for forever? I uh, should be getting out soon. I, I think it's, I think you're getting out now, actually. <laughs> oh, look at that. Well. 
suppose I can take you over real quick then. Nope, oh, okay, we're not. <laughs> God damn. Oh, there he goes. Woke up in his fucking undies just to get dressed and leave. Not a much. I just got his food up for others. Keep it on me for the next time. When this other fella gets a bit hungry. Speaking of food. I wonder if this fella knows where his cell is. Uh, I think the deputy or marshal or whoever would told him which one. I don't know if he knows which one it is, but... I believe he's been in here before. I, I believe we should know. Yeah. So you ever notice the deputies really like to assign cell one? Nice. There's a lot of people in cell one. Well, that's number one for a reason. Hey, how's it going, fellas? Do you mind if I um, go take a nap? Ah, the cells are just upstairs. Do you know where this, do you know where they are? Yep, yep. I've been okay. in before. <laughs> Have a good one, pal. Have a good I one. Too. Have we met before? Uh, I think once. I'll, I'll be honest. I, I get you and your brothers kind of mixed up sometimes. Aye. Well, the name's James. James O'Donnell. John Lynn. That's a pleasure. <sighs> well, I miss anything exciting? Uh, not really. I've just been, uh... You know, the telegrams have been a few undercover deputies. I believe there was a deputy that was uh, kidnapped at Bananasburg. And, uh... He was uh, given a note or something that said if he, a certain officer wasn't fired from the uh, from the you know from the fleet, that they would keep killing them. I don't know who they're you know referring to, but uh, I, the Scorpios or something, something along those lines. Don't really think, no. Uh, who knows? Yeah, but that's the mainland stuff, not my problem. And it's just kind of not, nothing much. I got my ass beat not, uh, maybe last week. That's about it. Oh, yeah, I got choked out a few days ago. What do you mean, choked out? Um, have you heard about what happened with North? Uh, uh, did not. Did, did she get her ass beaten too? Um, well, yes. Um... So whenever um, Val and Wes, I believe it was, uh, two of the Datara gang people, came in, like they were brought in, uh, James O'Malley, I don't know if you've met him. I have I think... met them because it was James O'Donnell and then he was James O'Malley, so it was kind of a coincidence there. I think James got out finally, um, but... Uh, those three were awake, plus like two others. Um, I woke up to Val, Wes, and James trying to pick a fight with one of the other inmates. And then, you know, I step in and try to break it up a bit. But it's just me and there's like, you know, five of them. Um, end up breaking that up and then... You know, I sent out for any any COs kind of on the mainland, see if anybody would, you know, free to come over and just help keep an eye on things. And North was supposed to be recovering. She shouldn't have responded at all, but it's North, so she did. Hi. Uh, apparently, she's had a she had a very bad day and a very bad week, and then she came here, clocked in, all that, and. I guess Val just pissed her the f like pissed her off. Just the words that happened. Be Val and... right there. Yeah. I believe she was sent you with West Dupont. Yep. Hey, we had a uh, a couple of anime fight nights not too long ago. I mean, the judge came in. Judge Ellery came in to talk to them. Uh, and they were held here, with, you know, with no char actual charges held against them. 
which is kind of sent here. So the judge said if within a 24 hour span that he'd, he'd be back here with uh with a reasoning on why they you know actually behind these bars and if he wasn't back here then they'd be released within those 24 hours. I don't believe he came back. So hmm. I don't know what happened with them. I mean I haven't seen him in a couple of days, so I would assume they're I probably got probably released. Out. Um but one thing led to another and North uh, allegedly, well, accidentally shot off uh, Wes's toe. She said she was aiming for the ground just to scare him. In, in uh, her. Yeah. And well, that doesn't look good on her. No, not really. And then um, the three of them started, you know, uh, you know, fighting her. Obviously, I step in the middle of it, start throwing him off of her. And then fucking James O'Malley comes and just fucking chokes me out. And funnily enough, uh, I guess we just have great timing because Charlie Lynn was uh, delivering gun oil right at the, as that happened. He walked through the doors. Did they deal with them there? Um, no, no, this was the, they were already done beating our asses. Oh, um, so they were just kind of like, Oh, what the fuck did you know, you know, <laughs> what, do, what do we do? They better not die, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess they actually felt bad for uh, me getting choked out because uh, they left a cookie in my hand. Um, but Why Charlie came. That? Oh, they just they just put a cookie in my hand. They could have eaten it. Huh? They could have eaten that thing. They could have. The west of a cookie. Um, but yeah, North got her injuries worsened, and then Charlie was here so it turned into a full-on like you know issue and last i heard north was suspended but i haven't seen her since so my guess is she's fired fired i mean i haven't i haven't seen her since it happened this was like a week ago almost I uh, was so there a week ago, and I also got uh, my ass beat by Mr. Uh, Anthony Flynn. I was in here with another fella. I can't remember his name. He's, uh, he's another CEO here. Uh, maybe it's Warden, or under the Sheriff Warden, just like the Under Warden. Or maybe oh, um, Jesse, right? Maybe it was Warden Red. Is that one? Red is like know. top dog. And then... Uh, it's whoever's under him. Um... Jesse something is under him, and then Beagle is under him. Well, that was either Beagle or either one of them. One of them outlaw. Here. Jesse Outlaw, that's his name. Most likely him. His, uh, he got punched by Anthony Flynn. I came in, oh, you know, he had his gun pointed at him, telling him to, you know, stop. And then he punched his, uh, his friend, another inmate that was here. And because of that, I want to go up and uh, cough him by orders of uh, Mr. Jesse there. And as I did, so I tackled me, took me to the ground. I must have choked me out, I blacked out. Because I woke up, you know, a few minutes later, and uh, the warden was by my side there. He said I got choked out, but he beat the uh, beat his the motherfucker's ass with the stock of his gun. <laughs> and I'm glad he did, because otherwise we'd both be lying there. Had severe injuries to his face. It didn't look good. Well, I guess play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I telegrammed the doctors then for an appointment checkup, but they never responded. Uh, yeah, I just love with the right there. Most doctors won't come out this way, but they also doctors also don't get free boats like we do, so it costs them money to come out here unless we go pick them up.
I will let her on that. There's been nothing really going on. Not to my knowledge, anyway. I'll tell you what, when I when I showed up, the fellow that stayed outside, I don't know if he's like something in the courts or, or something. Um, <laughs> lucky he didn't get shot. He was the one that shot outside the wall. See, uh, see an officer though. I I don't think he was an. I don't. What did they say his name was? Garfield. God, he doesn't have a judge. Is he? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Judge Garfield. He's a judge. Well, you shouldn't be shooting guns outside the wall. Fucking not very smart. Well, after that, I believe they all started shooting anyway. Yeah, they did. But at least, you know, I was out there to see. It was just them shooting and being dumbasses. Right. The young man asked me, can I go outside and see what's happening? I was like, fuck no, fella. That happened. Once you're in here, you might get an out. So, he's in here for 10 years, right? I has to be released on the 23rd, I think it was. Uh, okay, so he's... The 22nd. He's not... I wrote down. He's not uh, on hut charges, so he can go do work outside the walls and all that. I know, that's right. But he's uh, released any time on the 22nd of, uh, okay. of October. Day. So if you need to take him outside, uh, you can definitely do that. But I believe he's uh, fast asleep. I don't think he's uh, oh, yeah, no, just... with us at the moment. More just thinking out loud, so uh, I don't forget that. Just because he's in here for a long time doesn't mean he's, you know. Uh, I full name is uh, Amos Robertson. I'm gonna go look him up real quick. Yeah. Yeah, the, I looked him up. That he didn't have a an arrest report for today. His last arrest report was on September uh, 9th. I mean, they just haven't written it yet. Could be. The last one last year is September 10th. So. Kidnapping, grand theft, assault. Uh... Last two point. I miss our Ezekiel. Ezekiel? I I believe he is uh, also known as Mr. Lavoin. I believe that's his Elias or something. I don't know. Probably gonna wait up on the watchtower there for about 15 minutes if I don't see any uh, new inmates coming through. If I don't see any new inmates by uh, by the storm there, I'm just gonna take a cap. Alrighty. Well, I'll probably just hang out down here. Alright, I'll see you when I see you. Yep. Have a good one if you end up going to bed. Right. You too, fellow.